Hey everyone, Scott here to discuss the 2005 movie Bad News Bears, starring Billy Bob Thornton, Greg Kinnear, and Marsha Gay Harden, directed by Richard Linklater. Now before I get into this, I have never seen the original Bad News Bears movie, but I have seen this one before in theaters, and is it regrettable or is it fun? Well, that's what the show's for. Let's get straight into it. Morris Buttermaker, played by Billy Bob Thornton, is an exterminator of rats during the workday. In the, in the middle of the afternoon, he's a baseball coach for kids, a.k.a. Little League, while he's an alcoholic as he arrives at the baseball field and meets Liz Whitewood, played by Marsha Gay Harden, and her son Toby. But first, he watches the end of a softball game to see the young women in, so he can hook up with them. Until Toby interrupts, meanwhile, Buttermaker meets Ray Bull Roy Bullock, played by Greg Kinnear, who is on the opposite team beside of Buttermaker, as Roy w used to watch Buttermaker play the game when he was in high school. While he doesn't believe in losers, and Greg Kinnear appears to always play characters like that, as I'm not a fan of his, per se, and I first became aware of him in Mystery Men. And I don't like the three characters he we meet up with so far. The team is introduced as Mike Engelberg, who is accused of being fat. Surfer dude looking Tanner Boyle, who has the long blonde hair and curses like a sailor. No judgment. And, his, and he's a smartass. Brothers Miguel and Jose Aguilar, or Aguilar, excuse me. A kid in a wheelchair named Matthew Hooper, Ahmed Abdul Rahim, Prem Lahiri, Tommy Lupus, and Garo. Let me see if I'm going to say this right. Daragar. No, Daragar Brigaden? Something like that? I don't know how you say that name. As this is one from a foreign country. And honestly, this isn't a team. This is a bunch of juvie kids acting like a bunch of asses as they cuss their asses off. Even in, even Tanner and Mike, but they're at a, they'll add a couple of more later in the film. But I'm going to be brutally honest here. If this is going to act like School of Rock, nice try. Because it fails all over the damn place. And this is director Richard Linklater's most shameful movie since the Newton Boys, as this movie is a bunch of crap, as it's also not that funny either. Buttermaker doesn't have uniforms for his baseball team, as the season starts in a week, and his as his car window is hit by Mike's throwing the ball at his Cadillac, and at one point he takes the kids to spray some rats and for his work and this isn't the kind of movie that entertains me nor does it make you feel good at the end of the day while going to spray some rats hooper jumps out of the car and buttermaker picks his ass up and brings him to the car while spraying ra and while spraying rats they get uniforms and their team's names bears as they have a game the next day and instead of practicing they go to the pool and what kind of a coach is buttermaker and all of this is bothering me half to death. They eventually practice and Buttermaker throws something like a screwball and hits every single kid as this movie is very hostile towards kids. And at the end of it, he passes out because he's drunk and Tanner steals his money, which is so disgraceful. The next day comes, Buttermaker dumps a bunch of rats in the from the cooler and puts ice in the trash and puts ice in it the cooler i mean while liz approaches buttermaker and tells him toby can't wear the uniform he got the other kids as the game is about to begin and roy makes a speech and a kid named kelly leak rides his dirt bike on the field while the game goes on the kids stand there without getting the ball and buttermaker is terror is a terrible coach to begin with and eventually, Buttermaker realizes his kids are getting cremated by Roy's team. And Buttermaker calls the game while they're losing the game for now. And this scene is miserable. Just miserable. The kids are pissed off because they lost. And Buttermaker called the game and has a chat with Garo. 
and tells him to lie his ass off, saying they won the game while his father doesn't approve of him playing baseball and brings him home. As the day is going by so horribly for Buttermaker, he visits a girl he cared for and hasn't talked to for three years named Amanda. As she sells clothes for work and asks her to play ball with them while the kids took a vote and doesn't want to play the game anymore and gets laughed at at school. Oh, and Amanda declines at first. And the kids get laughed at in school and he makes a speech that, and by he I'm talking about Buttermaker, makes a speech that inspires them to play the game a little more and he practices with them now play the game and Roy tries to apologize to Buttermaker while going all hard ass with this handshake as his face turns red and none of this is working for me as a comedy about baseball and this isn't a good sports movie in general I'll say the Bears lose another game without Buttermaker calling the game and he begs Amanda to play the game with them and she calls with them reluctantly and they tie a game while the score was questionable at times. As there were times it was going classical for no good reason whatsoever. The team sees Kelly with his dirt bike as he passes the ball and to Buttermaker with a hell of a throw. And Buttermaker makes Amanda go to the skate park and asks Kelly to play for the Bears if she pulls off a move, but if n move of his... But if not, he asks her out to see his band. And Buttermaker is not comfortable with it while they play another game. And tied once again, and he makes a perverted speech, which was a bad idea for kids' sakes. Roy comes up to Kelly and to threaten him, and Kelly decides to play the ball for the Bears because Roy disrespects him and his father, while a couple of Roy's kids bullies around Toby and Tanner sticking out and Tanner sticking up for him, and they throw him in the mud. And I can't believe Richard Linklater remade this movie, as I've never seen the original movie, and after this movie, I don't want to. They practice with Kelly, uh, Kelly, I mean, as he hits the ball, with wins ev and wins every single game for the Bears. And as a celebration, they go to Hooters, which is not for kids in general. So the choices were questionable, in my opinion. Loss invites Butter. Anyways, invites Buttermaker to dinner. Or what's the Marsha Gay Harden character invites Buttermaker to dinner, and we move on to the next morning as Toby sees but doesn't believe he slept with his mother, and this is a bad choice from the beginning of the movie and on, and I can't believe how much of a waste of time this movie is at this point. Toby is pissed off because Kelly keeps getting the ball when we had it, when he had it, I should say, and, continue, and Kelly continues to play the game while Amanda hurts her arm and puts it in ice while he p points to Roy saying he'll see him there. And the writing in this is horrible. The championship game is coming while the team fights like cats and dogs because Toby wants to catch the ball, but Kelly is upset at Toby for about for it and Roy's team get Roy's team gets a speech talking from War from Roy about how his kids are winners and the Bears are losers and the championship game begins and Roy's team tries to distract Amanda from pitching and Buttermaker defends his team from Roy's team insulting them and Roy defends his team and calls Buttermaker a crybaby oh Sure, it's coming from Greg Kinnear. While Roy is being a bully of his to his own son, who's on his team, named Joey, and Buttermaker asks Garo to hit the ball, to get hit by the ball, I mean, and Kelly ho hits a home run, and so does Roy's team, and Buttermaker gets Amanda's arm is still hurting, as he she can't pitch any further while Garo is told to not hit the ball again, but he hits the ball and gets out by being selfish and this movie is so bad at this point joey pitches for roy's team and bullies him off the game while mike insults him and joey throws the ball at mike and roy comes off like a jackass to his kid and his mother sherry after joey pitches to mike and makes him hit the ball and he hits a home run as he goes with his mother and again with the classical musical choices 
I mean, Richard Linklater, seriously, you really need to knock it off at this point. Buttermaker makes Hooper play the game despite he was never in the game and puts other kids in different positions and keeps Amanda in the dugout to put her arm in ice once again while Roy's team is winning the game as it's still going and eventually Toby almost catches the ball, but Hooper does catch the ball as they cheer thanks to Hooper while Liz, that's her name, Liz, has a brief chat with him, and Marsha Gay Harden is wasted in this movie as she's an Oscar winner for crying out loud. And I want the movie to just end while the game goes on for too long. Toby hits the ball and runs to the first base, and the cheerleaders cheer for him, and he's happy about it, and the game is still going, and they try to get Kelly out, and he does eventually hit the ball, and one of Roy's teams catches the ball and tells Garl to hit the ball, and gets a strike down twice. And third time's the charm. As he hits the ball, when and when he gets to home base, Garl doesn't make it, and unfortunately, they lose the game to Roy's team, and Buttermaker celebrates by drinking non-alcoholic beer and confesses the Bears is his favorite team he worked with and gets a second-place trophy, while Roy's team gets first-place trophy, and they say to the the Bears got their respect, and the Bears say take their first place trophy and shove it up their asses. And the climax went on for too damn long, and I can't believe this is Richard Linklater's second take after School of Rock, as this is no School of Rock, nor is it as good at all like that movie was. Now it's time for my rating. I'll give this movie a 2.2 out of 10. This isn't a good sports movie, as I don't like any of the characters, as this is not a funny movie at all, and director Richard Linklater has got to be ashamed of this movie, and this movie is a disgrace to remakes in cinema. This is an absolute miserable time at the movies, and it's just horrible to watch, as these kids themselves look like asses, as there were times the music choices from opera was a questionable choice, as there was no reason for it whatsoever, and they make questionable choices. I can't believe Richard Linklater remade this movie, as I've never seen the original, and after this movie, oh, I really don't want to. And forget the Newton boys, as this is so far the his worst movie, and he should be ashamed of this, as this is a solid non-recommendation. And there was a reason I forgot about this movie, and it's because it's a bad movie. If you think it, this is as, if you think this is as funny nor as good as School of Rock, you better think again because this movie is a total waste of time. So I'd like to thank you guys for joining me, and I will be back in a couple of weeks with another movie called. Let's see here. It is called Fast Food Nation. That's my next stop. But for right now, I'm going to I'm gonna take a week off from this series as I'll watch a scanner darkly in spirit. And until then, bad news for the other teams. The Bears are coming.